I'm going to go to this leaf image here to apply a preset. Obviously this is taken for in a fairly shadowy place, so I'm going to go to Presets, Quick Fixes. I could apply just an exposure increase, but that might not work quite the way I want it to, so I'm going to go down to Brighten Shadows, watch the image in the middle, I'm going to click here, it's instantly going to brighten up everything around the edges. You can create your own presets. After you make as many adjustments as you want on the side panel here, Go to Presets and choose Save as Preset. Then you can use it again on as many images as you want later. Let's also talk for a quick moment about quick brushes. All of the adjustments I've applied so far have been applied to the entire image, but if I want to apply an adjustment to just one particular area, for example, to change the color or the definition or the contrast, I can do that with a quick brush, which is a localized adjustment. So I'm going to go here to Quick Brush, or I could go up to my tools at the top and click on the brush. I'm going to choose Definition, and I'm going to add a little bit more definition to this ice around the edge. So I can adjust the softness, whether my adjustment has a hard edge or not, as well as the strength and the brush size. If you have a laptop, you can just scroll up and down to change the brush size. Nice feature. So I'm just going to brush over the edge here of this glass to kind of add some more definition to these uh, ice crystals or salt crystals on the outside. Great. I'll just turn this off and I can see before and after. Notice the salt on the edge adds with, with the definition quick brush on it has almost a, a new dimension to it. Last of all the things that we're going to talk about is the lift and stamp. I'm going to go down here to my browser, click on my leaf here. Um, let's say I'm also going to add an edge sharpen to this. So it's not just the default preset, but I'm going to control S to add an edge sharpen just to bring out the veins in this leaf a little bit more. But now I know that I took a lot of images today that are going to need some of the same overall adjustments because it was just a generally shadowy day. And I don't want to have to go to each individual image and adjust them separately. So I'm going to use the Lift and Stamp tool. If I go up to my toolbar at the top, I can click on this Lift button. It will bring up this Lift HUD. I'm going to uncheck Keywords and IPTC Metadata because I don't want to stamp metadata. I only want to move the adjustments. I'm going to open up adjustments and it's going to show me the three adjustments that I've made to this leaf. Next, I'm going to select three more images. I'm going to hold down shift to select all three at the same time. And I want to apply this these adjustments to all of them. With those three selected, I can click stamp selected images and watch as it's going to update the thumbnails of these images. It's going to apply enhance remove some shadows, and create an edge sharpen, instantly applying three adjustments to all three images all at the same time. This is great in the case of, uh, for example, you shoot a, an event or a wedding or something on a cloudy day. Almost all of your images are going to need some kind of temperature adjustments to make them a little bit warmer because they're going to be blue by default if it's a cloudy day. Um, even if you've adjusted your white balance setting on your camera, you'll probably still have to apply some change afterwards. And you don't want to have to do that to every image. So go to one image, change the white balance so it's just right, and then lift that adjustment off that one and stamp that white balance adjustment onto all the rest of your images. It's a great way to save time. I'm going to deselect my images here and hit F to get out of full screen view. That's it for editing. Quick review, you have presets here to just quickly apply some adjustments to a picture. Don't forget to save your own presets. Under adjustments, you can add more adjustments that don't show up in the default set, as well as using quick brushes to make some fine tuning to specific parts of an image. We have our lift and stamp buttons to lift adjustments and paste them or stamp them onto multiple images. Also you have the keyboard shortcuts M to show your master image. F 
to go into full screen view and H to bring up your HUD to do your adjustments. That's it for adjustments in Aperture. Have a great time.